what did you notice she was saying in the final chapter? Oh, well, I guess I was just so taken by the last few pages because they seem to be really, I don't know, very current in the sense of like, I feel like we as rad and gender critical feminists are in like a very difficult position at the moment. It almost feels like we're trying to reinvent real feminism, right? Like we're, like what I just said, she's doing the rad fem move against the kind of socialist feminists. I feel like we're doing that now against the intersectional and liberal feminists. It's like feminism has become this global justice, everything, everything nonsense. Um, and we're trying to be like, hey, what about sex cast, <laughs> right? Like, and what about all these biological and social related to biology issues? And can we just kind of get back on track? And so the stuff she says about being brave and thinking really hugely and imaginatively I think that's the stuff that stood out to me um, in the sense of being really important and kind of inspiring. Can I just do the little, there's like a little motivational quote, I'm going to yeah. say. On yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she says, um, uh, being critical toward our own thought, uh, which is after all thought trained in the patriarchal tradition. Finally, it means developing intellectual courage the courage to stand alone, the courage to reach farther than our grasp, the courage to risk failure. Perhaps the greatest challenge to thinking women is the challenge to move from the desire for safety and approval to the most unfeminine quality of all, that of intellectual arrogance, the supreme hubris which asserts to itself the right to reorder the world, the hubris of the god makers, the hubris of the male system builders. And A, I just love that, but B, it made me laugh because when I read Phyllis Chesler's um, A Politically Correct Feminist or whatever it's called, she constantly refers to herself and the other feminists as geniuses. And when I read it, I was like, God, tone it down. Like, you yeah. can't just go and call yourself a genius. That's such a Ricky Gervais style thing to do. But then in the context of this, it's like, no, because no one else was calling them geniuses, right? And there's a sense in which it did take a lot of audacity to be like, no, we belong here and we're doing this big outrageous thinking and reimagining the world for women. We are. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, now yeah. I like, kind yeah. of understand it better. <laughs> yeah. 